my sweet fellow jewelers. Today we're doing memory wire and turning it into these beauties. Ah, I love Marquis earrings. I think they're so elegant and so cute. And so I was like going through YouTube just like you guys do. And I was like, I want to make new jewelry. I give me some inspiration. And so I saw this video where it turned memory wire into these earrings. And I'm like, no way, no way. Like you got to show me. And when they did, I went berserk. I went crazy. I started making all kinds. I started looking on Pinterest for inspiration. And so today I want to teach you two different styles of this earring. It's so simple. It's so easy. And I'm super excited to show you. But before we get started making these earrings, make sure you subscribe my channel, click that bell to get notifications because I love teaching you how to make jewelry. I do resin jewelry, I do beaded jewelry, I got your back on all of that. So you and me, let's get this earring party started. Just so you know, all the tools and materials I'm using today, I've listed in the description below so you can check that out or there's some links you can go to and all that good stuff. So go ahead, do it, but let's dive right in right now. Okay, so we're gonna make two types today. So let's dive into the heart one first, and then we'll dive into the really small beads. So the first thing is you're gonna take your memory wire and it's all connected together, right? It's this big long, it looks like a slinky. Someone said, I showed someone that's not a jewelry maker. They're like, hey, that looks like a slinky. I'm like, yep, pretty much. <laughs> and so you're gonna take the end of um, your memory wire and I have these amazing electric cutter tools that I use for everything. And you're not gonna wanna cut a whole circle. You're gonna wanna cut um, kind of like that, where you still, that's probably still too much, but whatever, right? Then we're gonna take um, this bale pliers. Now, I love these. You can use them for so many other things. This is kind of like the unorthodox way of using these pliers, but just, just follow along with me, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bale pliers and we're going to put it, you can put in the middle, you can do, put it in the middle or whatever. And I'm putting it right here on the edge, like between um, the two box parts. See, there's like round ones, but then right here, I am putting my wire and I am going to just push down as far as it will go. I'm gonna push down like this. And it, ah, oh, and it makes the shape that you want it to be. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take, I wanna make sure that my other one is exactly the same length. Now can I tell you, some people that do these earrings, they can do it exact same time. They cut the wire the same time, they um, they bend the same time. I am not that talented, I am not the one. And so I just do them one at a time and then I measure um, the second one for, to the first one and stuff. So that's how I roll. I am not talented enough to do two at a time. I've tried and have failed miserably. <laughs> and so I'm gonna take my the first one I did, right? And I'm gonna line them up and I am going to, you want to cut them exactly. These need to, cause they're earrings. So you want them to be exactly right. So I'm gonna cut that off. And then on this side, it's a little bit trickier, right? Because you have your loop. You wanna make sure you can make your loop. So I'm gonna cut about that much, right? I'm gonna cut about that much. You wanna take your file and file down the rough edges cause you're trying to put in their ear, right? And if there's like, like a pokey part or whatever, it's not gonna feel good. And so you wanna use your file and you're just gonna shave off. Like you can see just a little bit, you're gonna shave and make sure, and you can feel with your finger, right? And if you feel rough edge, I just use my file and I like to file off um, just the two ends, okay? Put my file to the side. Now I need to make my loop. I'm gonna make my loop. And you could use, you could totally use these pliers, but I have my favorite round nose pliers of all time that I use for everything. So I'm taking my round nose pliers. Again, you can use your bail pliers, but I'm taking my round nose pliers and I'm gonna make kind of like a medium sized loop, right? So with my round nose pliers, this is the small end, this is the big end, middle and everywhere in between. And this is the size loops that you, um, this is how you make your different size loops. So I'm gonna put my wire right here. I'm gonna bend it um, towards this way. I'm not gonna bend it under, I'm gonna bend it out, okay? So I'm gonna bend like this and I'm gonna curl it in like so. And cause it's memory wire, it's a little bit harder to do. So I am actually, as I bend my, my loop in, you usually just want them to touch, but because it's memory wire, if I just did it to where they touch, there's still be a gap. So I try to bend it so it goes past. So it goes past the wire and then I bring it back up, right? So with this, I brought it past the wire right here, this tip past the wire, and now I'm gonna bring it back up so it can touch because you don't want a gap in it. That's not good. You don't want a gap. I'm gonna make sure, yep, they're measuring up great. Oh my gosh, isn't that so easy? And it's so sick and cute. I love these earrings so much. So now we want to make the dangle part. We wanna make the dangle part. 
of it. And so I'm gonna put my, my head pin on my bead and then I'm gonna cut and I wanna make a pretty, I wanna make, I don't know, this one I made a, a kind of a medium sized loop. So I'm not gonna make it too small of a loop. If I make too small a loop, then it won't dangle really properly, right? So I'm gonna take my round nose pliers. I'm gonna bend this back at a 90 degree angle, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna curl it around, curl around, not all the way, not yet, because you wanna put it on your earring. You wanna put it on your earring and then you're going to bend it around the rest of the way until the loop um, touches like this. You want the loop to touch. You don't want a gap in there. You want the loop to touch, okay? Got that? Okay, and that is how you make, oh my gosh, that earring. Oh, oh my gosh, so quick, so easy. That was amazing, but let's do the next one. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but this one, I don't know if you know, let's, let's compare, right? This one, um, the back, of it is a lot shorter, okay? You can do so many different things. You can make the back shorter, you can make the back longer and then the front shorter. You can do so many things with this, it's amazing. So this one's actually easier than that one even. So now I'm going to take my wire, I'm gonna take my memory wire and do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna cut a little bit less because this earring's a little bit smaller than that earring, okay? So I am going to go in like this and I wanna take my pliers. And this time there's a lot less on the back end right here. So I'm gonna more go um, towards the back end like this and have less here, more here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push with my finger like this. Push with my finger like so. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> whatever, it didn't work out how I thought. <laughs> I have I have just as much on this side, this side. So we're just going to um, use the other earring. I'm going to line it up like so, and we're just gonna cut, okay? So I'm gonna take my electrician cutter tools, I'm gonna cut, and then I'm gonna um, hold it on the other side. And this, um, when you bang it with a hammer, it kinda wants to spread out a bit. So I'm gonna try to cut exactly where it's at. Ah, okay. Okay, so this is the fun part where you get to hammer, if you, if you need some therapy today, this is perfect because you get to hammer out your feelings today. <laughs> and so the first thing I wanna do is, I am gonna take, I have five beads. I have five tiny, probably three millimeter beads. And the hole for this, the reason they're so small is I want the hole small because we're just going to flatten out the end in order to make the bead stay. Ooh, I know, tricky. I'm so excited, I love this part. Um, and so we're going to take our bead, all five of our beads, right? We're gonna take all five of our beads like this, right? Good. Push them all the way up just to get them out of the way. Now I'm going to move this beauty over here. I'm going to grab my hammer. I'm gonna grab my metal slab and I'm gonna beat it till it's flat. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. So we're gonna take it, right? And I'm just gonna do the very end. I'm not gonna do a lot, I just want the very end. And I'm going to beat it. Just beat it, mm -hmm. just beat it. And then after I've beaten it, I'm going to push those, nope, see, it's not, ooh, see my, my, my beads went flying, it's not, it's not small enough, it's not, it's not flat enough. So I need to beat it some more because we want it so flat that it spreads out and it makes a stopper for the beads. I love this because this is, it's just wire and, and you're flattening the wire out to stop the beads. I love it. So we're just going to hammer it some more to spread out the, the metal part of this wire. that look at it we have these two earrings aren't they adorable and then we have these two earrings ah oh, and that my fellow jewelers is how you make these fabulous dangled earrings was it not super easy are you gonna be like 
make a dozen of them, I gotta hear from you. Comment, share, like. Now it's the end of my video. And at the end, I love praying for my viewers. I love praying for you. And this crazy thing is on the way to church today, um, I had this flash vision of some of you. And it was just some of you are wanting to give up of either your jewelry business or making jewelry or feeling like, yeah, I feel like I should be doing this, but it's just too hard. And I saw like, like you holding on to your business or your jewelry making and you just let go and you're like, I'm done. I'm so tired. Like I just felt your tiredness, your frustration, your discouragement. And the Lord just wants me to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up. Like keep going. It's around the corner or it's going to be a little bit longer, but just don't give up. Like some of you that want to give up right now with your business or jewelry making, don't do it. Like the, the Lord has has a, a calling on your life. He he has a purpose for your jewelry making. And I just, I just feel like some of you want to give up, don't give up. Like, like keep going. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. So God, I pray for my viewers that you've called the jewelry making, that you've called to a jewelry business. For those that want to give up, God, I pray that you would encourage them right now in Jesus name, God, where they feel like they're not getting sales or, or they're not feeling like they're um, doing a good enough job with the jewelry making, whatever the discouragement is, God, I pray that you would encourage them right now. Lord, I pray that you would lift off that discouragement, lift off that disappointment, God, and that they would keep going. I pray for per perseverance. Yes. Give them perseverance perseverance right now to endure because you have something for them and they just need to keep going. God, give them the strength, give them the perseverance in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. Love you so much. Guess what? Go check out one of my other videos. We're there. We're there. Go, go check them out. All right. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.